Welcome back to the Muse and Greg. About 16 months ago, I installed this Provent 200 catch can on my 2012 Mitsubishi Pajero, and you've probably already seen the results we got after its first 18,000 kilometres. At the end of that video, I said that while the catch can was definitely stopping the oil, I couldn't be so sure whether just removing the oil fumes via a catch can was going to be enough to stop the manifold build-up, and that I'd check in a follow-up video whether that's true. Well, we're now 20,000 kilometres on from then, which is 40,000 k since this catch can was first installed. So while I was up at Ellenbrae Station on the Gibb River Road in Western Australia's East Kimberley, I had to dig around to find out the answer to two questions. Firstly, is the catch can still collecting oil? And secondly, and probably more importantly, is there any more manifold buildup after another 20,000 kilometres of driving? So is removing the oil fumes enough on its own to completely stop manifold buildups? That's the question I really wanted to know. So firstly about the oil, how much it's still collecting. In my last video, I only collected about 50 mils of oil after about 7,000 kilometres of driving. That's because the filter element started off quite dry, so the initial oil fumes would have been soaked up by the filter. And secondly, also the drain tap had been leaking. Western Filters kindly sent me a replacement tap under warranty, which has since fixed that problem. This time around, with a wet filter and a properly sealing tap, I collected about 150 mils of oil in 10,000 kilometres of driving. That was from about 4,000 k's of city driving and about 6,000 k's on the highway pulling a 2.5 tonne caravan through outback Western Australia. I reckon that's a really good result to have stopped that much oil from getting into the intake. So, yes, the catch can is absolutely still working. It's still doing a great job at collecting oil. And at the present collection rate of 150 mils per 10,000 kilometres, this catch can will have stopped over half a litre of sticky blow-by oil getting into the manifold since it was first put on 40,000 kilometres ago. I'll be changing the filter soon. But what about the burning question from the last video? Is removing the oil enough to stop the manifold build-up forming or not? After all, the only reason we installed it in the first place was to stop build-up. Well, I stuck a screwdriver inside the manifold like I did last time, and as you can see, the build-up certainly isn't that wet, sticky, oily mess we got before installing the catch can, but neither is it completely dry like it was last time either. It feels a little bit claggy and sticky. I'll describe it as a sort of consistency of dried toothpaste. As you can see, it's sticky, it's smeary, it's sort of a little bit tacky, it pulls apart when you move your fingers apart, so there's definitely a little bit of oil mixed in with the soot here. But I couldn't tell how much build-up there was. So 5,000 kilometres later, when we got back to Perth, I pulled the upper manifold off to compare the build-up there with what we found in an earlier video, which had been 25,000 k's after a full strip down and clean of the manifold, but with no catch can being used afterwards. Back then, after 25,000 k's without the catch can, we found a thin smear of oily, sticky build-up which was full of blow-by oil, after which I cleaned the upper manifold. Let's now see how the same cleaned upper manifold looks after 40,000 kilometres of driving with the catch can installed. First impressions are that the surface is lumpy and there actually looks to be more build up now than what there was before after the 25,000 k's. Now of course difference, you know, distance is a little bit different 25,000 compared to 40,000 k's but it's not dramatically different but it does look like there's more build up there than before. When I run my finger through it, it's definitely a lot drier than before and you can't scrape it through to the alloy as easily as you could to the, to the full thickness like you could last time. The catch can has obviously made the build-up less oily, but unfortunately it hasn't stopped us continuing to get build-up. It's just that we get a drier, perhaps fluffier build-up than what we did before, but it seems to take up at least as much space in the manifold as what the oily stuff did. So does the Provent 200 catch can work? Well, yes and no. Yes, it definitely collects oil, which is a good thing. But unfortunately, no, the catch can on its own isn't enough to stop the manifold build-ups. And you're probably as disappointed as I am about that, but unfortunately that's the reality. I mean, I've spent $300 on a catch can which doesn't seem to actually nail the problem completely. But thankfully, that's not the end of the story. I've got at least two or possibly three more videos coming, which I'm hoping in the course of that we're going to fix this problem. Although, I'm learning just like you are while I'm documenting all these experiments, so we'll just have to see what we find out. But here's the plan. Firstly, we're going to test out a product called Direction Plus Revive Turbo Cleaner. It's a pretty expensive product, but it's supposed to clean the whole intake path from the turbo through to the engine. If you're keen to see that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it when it gets posted, but also post in the comments below if there's some other diesel intake cleaning product you'd like to see tested. Just make sure it's designed for diesels, not petrol engines, and also that it's available in Australia. We then need to stop the EGR build-up, so I'll be doing another video showing you how to perform the resistor mod on a Mitsubishi Pajero. 
Now this is a Pajero specific mod which is supposed to tell the computer to keep the EGR valve closed which should stop the soot getting past without physically blanking off the EGR valve which is illegal. We'll see how well that works. It's possible you may be able to do something similar in other vehicles. So hope this video has been helpful, give it a thumbs up and a sub if it has been and I'll catch you next time.